Well, folks, welcome to the show. I'm Milton Daly. If you like Africa hunting, we're going to be hunting one of the most dangerous critters there is, the Cape Buffalo. It's going to be with my son there in uh, near Zimbabwe. And after the TV show, hey, we're all going to be at the fairgrounds right here in Shreveport at the largest boat and RV show around. Folks, it's going to be a great time. So, that, hey, after the TV show, let's all pack up and head to the fairgrounds. But first, let's go on the Cape Buffalo hunt with, hey, my son, Keith. We saw this group of buffalo a little while ago. We got up on them, got a look, couldn't tell if there was a big bull, thought we saw a bull, but it's so thick out here and there were so many of them that we just uh, can't tell yet, so we're gonna stay on them and, and uh, see what's there. Keith, there's two cars over there and there's a car over there. That car over there is looking towards us. The bull I want to go up to is in the middle of them, but it's at the back of the herd. Okay. All right. The wind is not being very good to us. I want to make our way around there. Okay. All right, but we've got that one car to be careful of. So we got to watch her. All right. Okay. You ready for that? Yeah. I'll follow you. Got a nice bull up here. A lot of cows. Gotta be real careful. Coming. Where's this happening? The wind. Oh, they meant Paula. Alright. They're right through the bushes. We're gonna to try to get to this little hill right here so we can get a vantage point so we can get higher and kind of look down on them. Now we'll be right back to finish up the Cape Buffalo hunt, but first let's go with uh, hey, our presenting sponsor, uh, Bayou Outdoor Super Center, and see what kind of products they're going to have at the boat show at the fairgrounds, hey, today and tomorrow. This is uh, the Epic 22 SC. It's 22 and a half feet long. It only weighs 1,850 pounds, which being light, uh, it only drafts 12 to 14 inches, so you can get very, very shallow with this boat. Uh, the boat is rated for a 250 horsepower motor. Uh, this particular one, we've put a 200 uh, four-stroke Yamaha on it. Uh, one thing that makes it light, it's got resin-infused fiberglass. Uh, they're able to use a little bit more resin in producing the boat, and it does make it very, very strong and very light. Uh, the boats also come with a hydraulic jack plate, which is very important for getting shallow. Uh, you can jack the motor up and run it in very shallow water. Uh, it has hydraulic steering, which makes it steer very easy. This boat with a 200 on it will run about 52 miles an hour. Again, you can upgrade it in horsepower to a 250 horsepower motor. Uh, we also have installed a power pole, which is a shallow water anchor. So bay fishing, you get on some fish, you can drop that anchor and the boat's not gonna go anywhere. And 
from what we're finding out in the industry, it's very moderately priced, and again, it's one of the hottest products in the marine industry. And we can find it this weekend. We can find this boat. We do have a number of them uh, out at the uh, uh, boat and sports show at the State Fair Stadium. Uh, we'll be out there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That way, we can, you come out there, we'll be able to fix you up and get you in the boat of your choice. Hi folks, I'm Dan Morton here at Bayou Outdoor. And here we also got a Kodiak. I wanted to tell you just briefly, this is one of the things that we're going to have the show. One of the RVs we're going to have out there, the Kodiak is made by Dutchman. It's an all aluminum frame, fiberglass siding. They've redone the inside totally. You need to come see them at the show. We've got several out there for you. And one of the other things that I think I need to mention is we've got several of every different brand you can think of at the show. Everything from your aluminum siding, the fiberglass siding. Like I say, I'm Dan Morton. Come to our show this weekend. Be at the fairgrounds out here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Thank you. Yes, I will be out there at the boat show this weekend. The banks have just new, sent out the new rate sheets. We've got rates as low as a 2.89. Be sure to come out and see us and we'll see what we can do for you. Now they're having factory incentives that you can only get here at the boat show this weekend in Shreveport. Now let's get back to the show. We just got on another group. We can see a bunch of females right now. They're over here and over here. Just waiting right there. That one that just crossed was a bull. Yep. The one that just crossed was a bull. No, no, no. He's still there. Is that him? No, it's a cow. No, it's a female. God, see, I thought that was a bull. Is he in the very back? No, she is covering him. Oh, he's on the left. She's covering him, yeah. There's... This is a big group. It's hard when you get on a group of buffalo like this to be able to pick the bull out and get a clean shot. Right to the left of the tree? Oh, his head's behind the tree? He's a young bull, huh? The white he's, bosses? Yeah, he's a young bull. Are those not hard? Mm. It'll be slightly soft. There's two bulls there, one. Yeah. Yeah, that oh. one. I don't know. I can't tell if they're hard or soft. He's, he's a nice head. But he'll be a little bit soft in the center, hey? Now, what you look for while buffalo hunting is a bull with hard bosses. Now this bull we're looking at here, he's almost completely hard bosses, but right in the center there, he's going to be a little soft. And what this means is he's going to have hair growing between the horns. And that's not what you're looking for when you're on a trophy buffalo hunt. So we're going to pass up this bull. Just a little while later, this bigger bull steps out behind the same tree. Look, these bosses look big. Pretty, pretty big bosses. Yeah. I'd probably shoot him. About to step yeah, out. You've got, you got a shot at him now if you want him. Ah, uh, there's a limb right in my way. I gotta go right. Square in the shoulder. Square in the shoulder. There's a stick, right? Hoss, are you ready? His head's covering the shot. Where his head, he, uh, Yeah, now we're screwed. The horn is curling round. Hoss, are you ready? I'm Tanya Bayou Outdoor. I'm the only female rep here, guys. Y'all come see me at the Louisiana State Fair. We've got 2014 Wildcats with a super uh, king-size couch in it. We go all the way down from the pop-up tents to 45-foot tag axle motorhomes. 
We're going to have from your smallest to a tent camper all the way up to a motorhome, any size fifth wheel, travel trailers, toy haulers, you name it, we're going to have it at Bayou Outdoor. Guys, y'all make sure y'all come see me at Bayou Outdoor at the RV show at the Louisiana State Fair. Uh, one of the great things about the show is that there's going to be so many different campers out there that you can look at. We'll have our, our full line there, and more important to you guys probably is the fact that we're going to have huge, huge discounts, big incentives from the factory. So y'all come and see us. Be sure and take a look at our Tiffin Motorhomes. Number one selling motorhome in America, five out of the top six categories. We do have financing on site, so if you decide at the show that you like something, we can get you hooked up right then and there. Our owners are always at our stores. They're going to be at the show. Uh, and after the sale, we don't stop there. We have a great, great service department, 13 bays. So y'all come and see us at the show. We'd love to see you, and uh, uh, we'll see you there. If you own, own Timberland and are looking for a consultant to help you with your forest management, uh, uh, a consultant is really your advocate. Uh, they're there to represent you and, and to offer services, uh, a broad array of, of forest management services, and it will include the supervision of timber sales, uh, man, boundary line maintenance, surveys, whether it be herbicide treatments, tree planting, burning, all those sorts of things that need to be done on the forest, your consultant is there to help you manage the property and to do those things. Okay, it's powered by Evinrude. Uh, some real unique things about Evinrude that they have running right now, they're running a six-year warranty on their motor. Uh, also on the Evinrude motor, you have no break-in period. So you can take this boat out with the Evinrude motor and run it just like you could from day one. Uh, also, there is no scheduled maintenance for three years. Uh, this is a backback track trailer. It's an aluminum trailer. Uh, so you don't ever have to worry about any type of rust. Uh, and also, that's what Express puts on all their boats. Uh, comes with a spare tire, uh, aluminum wheels, a uh, very nice package. This boat's 17 foot in length. Uh, but a great boat. We sell a lot of them. And Express, like I said, has been in business for 45 years. It was the first all-welded boat ever built. I uh, hope everybody can come out to the boat show this weekend. It's going to be one of the biggest events of the year. It's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, and it's not only a show, but it's going to be a big sale. We're going to have reduced prices, manufacturer incentives, so it will be worth your while. If you're in the market for a boat, you need to come out and see us. And you can only get the incentives while you're at the show. The, the reps will be here this weekend, and the incentives will be for this weekend only. This is the, uh, the brand new Bennington line, which uh, which we started handling just a few years ago, and it's one of the most popular pontoons that you're ever going to find. Pontoons is going to be your your stability uh, of the whole way, which it has the uh, the the end bracket back here. As you can see, you can't quite see everything, but it's a it's a thicker bracket than anybody else has used. And underneath here, everything is stainless steel screws, nuts and bolts. And it's not going to be sh with sheet metal uh, screws. Most of them are done that. All your pontoons are uh, separated out. They're shielded. It's air foam, air, air, air flotation. And usually they're going to be a 25 inch diameter pontoons. I don't have a shot. No shot be ready, Hoss, if he turns right. There's no shot. He's, he's facing left. Yeah, he's facing at us almost. Got a good set of forms. That's the way the lights are running. Get ready. He's going to turn. Right. Three. I don't have a shot. The hand horn is curling down. Yeah, I don't have a shot. That's where I want you to put the bullet. I'd have to step where you're at. Hoss, you stay there. I can shoot through all that. Hold on. Ready? In the shot. Yeah. He's down. He's down. Shoot him in the shot. Why not? From shooting. Come on, hey! Did you get back up? Did get up?
Holy cow, man. This is something else. This is why they say, how do you feel a dead buffalo? Yeah, they're tough. That was awesome, man. I'm glad we waited it out. We weren't sure what was in the group, but it's a nice bull. Well, Jim, right. it was a heck of a hunt, wasn't it? Keith, congratulations. Thank you. You did that very, very well. Thank you. And it's, it's like you're very experienced on that. <clears throat> No, this is my first one, and I tell you what, it was a rush. We we spotted this, well, we got on the, the, the tracks early. About 7.30 from, from that watering hole. And yeah. And then you sent the trackers out after this herd, and, you know, it took us a little while, but then we finally jumped them, and, and it was a big group, so we weren't sure what was in there. It, it kept it kept fragmenting. Um, Keith, I think you, you experienced a, a buffalo hunter in its true sense. Yeah. Um, you know, you're going to find buffalo by getting out and following them and tracking them and eventually when you make sighting of them from, from a distance, you, you start the stalking now. And uh, that's, where, that's where the excitement starts. You yeah. know, you've got to keep seeing. And as you, as you experience, there's always cows in a group, yeah. in a herd. All right? And it's the cows that are ultra alert and they keep you pinned down to the ground. Like, how long were we pinned to the ground there? Is it a good 20 minutes or so? Well, we, we had to crawl and we'd have to shimmy and shake and, and we'd look That's up it. and there's some eyes on us. All, all those are the characteristics of buffalo hunting and I'm, I'm glad you had them all. Well, I'll tell you what, it was exciting. And when we finally got on this big boy and when it come down to the, the, the split second to take the shot, it, nothing like that, no adrenaline rush can, can match what it is going after one of these big suckers right here. That's why they say buffalo hunting is addictive. Jeez. Once you've done one, you've got to come back and do another one. Well, guys, for an exciting rush of a lifetime, get out here to Zimbabwe, go after Cape Buffalo. Jim, once again, awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Well done to you. Uh, I've got a 2014 Express XP200 uh, powered by Yamaha. This particular one's got the Yamaha VMAX HPDI 150 on it. Uh, very high performance motor. Uh, nice motor. Yamaha is still top of the line. Okay, all express boats come with a backtrack trailer. It's one of the best trailers in the market. It's all aluminum. You never have to worry about your trailer rusting. Uh, I've personally had my trailer for seven years now and it still looks like the day I bought it. Um, nice trailer. On this trailer, Express has gone to the new oil bath hub system. Uh, you never have to grease these hubs. Every revolution of the wheel is getting bathed in oil. Um, I believe it's guaranteed for 100,000 miles. All right, then moving to the boat, uh, as I said before, this is the XP200. This is a high performance boat uh, and not a big price like your fiberglass boats. This is a 20 foot boat. Um, it is set up with a casting deck, um, excellent for, for bass fishing, you know, pitching certain you know, jigs and stuff. You are elevated. Uh, comes with a Minn Kota uh, trolling motor, foot control, uh, fishing seat. On this particular model, the XP200, you have a big open floor plan. Um, it's, it's designed, let's say you're out running the river, running jugs, running lines, gets you a lot of uh, room to, to put your stuff out here where, where you can work with it easily. Has plenty of dry storage in the front, to keep your life jackets and everything dry and out of the way. Comes with a rod locker. Uh, this will accommodate the seven foot, seven and seven and a half foot rods. You have a very ergo, ergonomic um, setup here. Everything, which means everything's just right here. You don't have to reach for anything. Uh, your your throttles right here handy. All your buttons for your live well, your lights, and your bilge pump are right here. Um, nice instrument cluster with your gauges. You have storage under the seat in this model. There's there's tons of storage in an express boat. Um, comes with a nice big deep live well area. This one does have the built-in gas tank just like your fiberglass boats do. Um, have a large built-in gas tank, have your oil reservoir, batteries. Um, one thing I would like to point out with this unit, um, while you're fishing, the longer you fish, you're going to have to change out your, your cartridges and your pumps. They're going to go out. Um, Express has put those right here. They're handy to get to. Um, you can change out the cartridges in just a matter of minutes, whereas, you know, with a lot of boats, you have to remove batteries, remove gas tank, remove oil reservoir. Well, Express, they, they have a good thing going with this. 
Um, come see us at the boat show. We have the complete line of express boats at the boat show this weekend. Uh, we'll be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, come, come take a look and see what we got. Express is doing good things. Now about three o'clock today, they're gonna have a weigh-in there at the fairgrounds at the boat and RV show. It's gonna, if you've never been to a fish weigh-in, hey, it's a lot of fun. There'll be some pro fishermen there that you can get some tips from. Ask them what they're using. See old Cody Brazell. He, hey, he's in the tournament. Let's see how he does. And he'll give you some great tips on what to use, what kind of baits to use this time of year. Hey folks, I'm Derek James from Bayou Outdoor in Bossier. Now, Mr. Milton, another brand is our number one selling brand is our Flagstaff line. Here it's Microlite. A tiny car can basically pull the Microlite. If you want something as small as this or up to 32 feet long, the place to come to see us is the State Fairgrounds in Shreveport this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Financing on hand, you will not beat the deal this weekend. Come see me, it's Derek James at Bayou Outdoor and Bozier at the fairgrounds this weekend. Yeah, I'm Quentin Smith and Bayou Outdoors down at the fairgrounds. We're having a sale this weekend, you need to come out and see us. We've got hot dogs, need, got some nice deals on some trailers. Uh, about like this Aspen Trail, two slides, outdoor kitchen bunkhouse model for the kids. We've got all kinds. We've got travel trailers, fifth wheels, motor homes. Be sure to come see us at the state fairgrounds this weekend. Thank you. This weekend, folks, we're going to have a big show at the state fairgrounds. We're going to have uh, all our RVs out there. One of the RVs you'll see at the show, of course, is, is this uh, open road made by uh, Tiffin Motor Coach. It's a red. It's a four slide coach, diesel pusher, uh, had a 340 Cummins in it, uh, large generator, it's powered by Cummins. Come see us at the fairgrounds. You know, Danny Products is known for having, to, you know, trailer hitches. They got about any kind of hitch for any type of vehicle that you might have. And they don't have just, hey, just a few of them, folks. They got a warehouse full of them. So you can be assured that they'll have it in stock when you come visit them right here in Shreveport. Now, for all you guys that have uh, camp trailers that need a fifth wheel, Dandy Products has every kind of fifth wheel and they install those. Trailers for the cattle, cattle trailers for gooseneck, and then they install everything that they sell right here at the Dandy Products. You know, there's not many products here at Dandy that they don't handle. Give them a call. You know, Mardi Gras is right around the corner, and everybody knows my good friend out there, Mr. Don Tubbs at Tubbs Hardware, always has Mardi Gras year round. And especially right now, he's got new things coming in every day. In fact, they just got the new King Cake in. It's, it's, it, hey, it's available right now at Don Tubbs' store. What do you say, let's go over with Don and see some of the things that he's got uh, at the store. Here's something here. This, this is a Cajun microwave. This is what you'd cook a hog in. Really? Don't have to dig a hole anymore in the ground. You can cook your hogs right, there. right here in the Cajun microwave. And then, of course, I showed you the root beer earlier. Real nice cooler to keep your root beer in. We keep Mardi Gras up year-round. Uh, tourists that come into town, we're right off I-20 next to the river boats. Um, we're, we have a good partnership with the river boats. They send a lot of tourists our way. So the tourists love to see Mardi Gras, so we keep it up year-round. Let's talk about your cage and stuff. I hear you got an assortment. Somebody wants to boil uh, crawdads. Crawdads. Well, I want you to visit, before you leave, visit our hall. This is the wall of hot sauce right over here. Come oh, on, let me show you the wall of hot sauce. A lot, a lot of people come in and they'll come in and they'll say, we want to see the wall of hot sauce and it's all right up in here. This is the first product that we got involved with, the, the Cajun Power Garlic Sauce. That's the very first product I put in the store. Still one, number one, one of our number one sellers. And we keep a large selection of hot sauces by Tabasco and all the different brands of Louisiana. We even produce our own Tubbs Habanero hot sauce. This is my favorite here. This is a raspberry chipotle sauce. Whenever I go to someone's house, I'll take a jar of this, I'll pour it over a little cream cheese, put some good crackers next to it, and people go nuts over how good that is. Folks, for anything you need in the outdoor equipment world or service on your older mower, come by and see Don right here at Tubbs Hardware. Hey, have something on the grill out there with them. Every, every Saturday. We every cook Saturday. every Saturday. All <laughs> Thanks right. a lot, boy. Thank you.
All right, I'm Eddie Sincox, Bayou Outdoor Supercenter. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about the wakeboard boats. They have other names, uh, tow boat, true inboards is what these boats are. There is no out drive, it's a true inboard motor. So these, that, that means that they're these, these boats are made to pull. They're made for pulling. This is what, this one boat will do anything that involves water sports, family water sports. Whether you're pulling a tube, skiing, uh, whether you're wakeboarding, wake skating, and the big thing nowadays is wake surfing, these boats will do it all. They have ballast tanks, which allows you to fill the tanks up with water, which sinks the boat down, and when you take off, it makes a bigger wave. So. Even if you're just pulling a tube, you can sling the kids all over the place. Plus, all of these boats have cruise control, just like in your car or your truck. You set the speed for 20 miles an hour, and then all you do is drive. And they also have the big towers. You got board racks where you can hang your wakeboards or skis or surfboards. And then the other thing about the wakeboard boats is they all got the sound systems. Everybody's got to have the sound system to go along with it. You got tower speakers, four in each in the tower. You have speakers in the boats. You have a big 12 inch sub under the driver. You have two amps. I mean, you can, you can really blast the people across the lake if you want to. No matter what the brand, because we carry Supra, Moomba, Malibu, Axis. They all carry NMR motors, which are originally their GM blocks, 5.7 liter big block V8s. They're all fuel injected. They range in horsepower from 330 to 350 horsepower. But the thing they're made for is pulling. You can put, and if you notice, the seating capacity is a lot bigger than a typical inboard outboard ski boat. You can carry a lot more people but when you load it down with people, you can still pull anybody you want to pull. A lot of them will have what they call, back here in the back, is a wake plate. Looks like a big trim tab, mm -hmm. basically what that is. That also helps with your, you can shape your wake. Once you, the, the ballast makes the wake, and then you can shake, shape it if you want a flatter wake, depending on what you're doing, or if you want a, you know, a bigger wake. And then all of these boats, we're going to have them out at the state fairgrounds this weekend, which is January 17th, 18th, and 19th, for the, the boat and RV show. And we'll have everything out there, plus all the other boats, and RVs for that matter. And financing. And we have financing, and we are going to have special boat show prices. So if anybody's looking to upgrade, or if you don't have a boat, you're looking to get into a boat. Be sure to come out this weekend and see us. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the show. Remember, we're going to be at the State Fairgrounds all weekend at the RV and Boat Show presented by Bayou Outdoor Super Center. And, um, hey, we'll be around all weekend. Be sure to attend the weigh-in at 3 o'clock on Saturday. And Sunday, there's going to be a lot of things going on. Hope to see you there. Till next week, I'm Milton Daly. We'll see you then.